Thank you so much for being here. This is Ashwani Prasad, your host of the Inclusive Storytelling Podcast. If you're liking these episodes, please leave a review, download, comment if you're on YouTube, and share these episodes. Feel free to connect with me at theinclusivescreenwriter.com or on Twitter and Instagram at the Inclusive Screenwriter. In addition to being an anti-racism and anti-oppression educator, I'm a screenwriter, self-published author, and of course a podcast host. So if I can make our media more inclusive with you, feel free to reach out. All right, let's jump into our episode. Anne Claire Cools was born on August 12, 1943, and was the first black senator in the Senate of Canada in 1984. She was also the first black woman senator in North America. Cools was a strong advocate for women and children and survivors of domestic violence. When Cools retired, from the Senate in 2018. She was the Senate's longest serving member. Racism is unfortunately a part of Cool's past as well. In February 1969, Cool's participated in a 13 day long civil disobedience sit-in at what is now known as Concordia University. Over 400 students occupied the computer center because of the inadequate handling of complaints of racism against a professor. Riot police ended up storming the building. Some floors were set on fire. Computers and computer cards were destroyed and paper fell from the ninth floor onto the street below. Unfortunately, there was also a counter demonstration where folks were chanting horrible, horrible names about black folks. Now, Cools was nowhere near the ninth floor where all that paper was being thrown from to the street below. However, she was still one of 97 students that were arrested and she refused to plead guilty, which would have allowed her to be set free. And because she did not plead guilty, she served two months in jail. Rochelle Jean is a Haitian Canadian journalist and filmmaker. In 2005, she became Canada's first Black Governor General, and she held this title from 2005 to 2010. She was the first Haitian Canadian and Black person to be Canada's Governor General. She was the Queen's representative in Canada, and she advocated for communities that have been historically uninvited to tables. After she completed her mandate in 2010, Haiti experienced a devastating earthquake. She served a four-year term as the United States Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, Special Envoy for Haiti to support the country's recovery efforts. And in September 26, 2012, She was sworn in as a member of the Queen's Privy Council for Canada. She's lived quite the life and has had many, many titles that really make her a really special person. Born on June 17, 1930 in Kingston, Jamaica, feminist activist and politician Rosemary Brown was elected to British Columbia's legislature in 1972. She was the first woman to be elected to a Canadian legislature. Early in her political career, Brown became the first woman to run for a federal party, the New Democrat Party, or NDP. Her bid to lead the New Democrat Party was unsuccessful, but her political career was really an advancement for non-whites in Canada. Brown always focused on promoting equality She helped found the British Columbia Association for the Advancement of Colored People in 1956, hence the outdated term. She helped advocate for housing, employment, and human rights. She was most likely influenced towards equality because she faced pervasive discrimination as an undergrad at McGill University. Fiello Davis Desmond was born on July 6, 1914 in Halifax, Nova Scotia. She owned and operated a beauty parlor and beauty school in Halifax. In 1946, she went to a movie theater and chose to sit on the ground floor, a section of the Roseland Theater that was reserved for white patrons only. So 
she challenged the racial segregation. She was arrested, tried, and convicted for tax evasion for not paying the one cent difference for the ground floor ticket. The conviction was upheld and her case was one of the most publicized incidents of racial discrimination in Canadian history and actually helped start the modern civil rights movement in Canada. In 2010, Desmond was granted an official pardon and apology for the racism that she and other Black Nova Scotians were subjected to. In 2016, Desmond became the first woman to appear on a Canadian banknote. If you want to learn more about racism in Nova Scotia, go ahead and take a look at Africville, Nova Scotia. If you want to understand more of the racism in Canada, especially against Black Canadians. Born in 1929 in Calgary, Alberta, a violent King dreamed of becoming a lawyer, despite the absence of Black lawyers in Canada. Violet King went on to law school and became the first Black person to earn a law degree in the province of Alberta. When King started her law degree, there were just three women in a class of 142. She graduated with a law degree from the University of Alberta in 1953 and was admitted to the Alberta Bar in 1954. She was the first Black person to be admitted to the Alberta Bar, and after passing the bar, she became the first Black woman lawyer in Canada. Thanks again for being here, and again, if you're liking these episodes, feel free to leave a review, download, comment, and share. And always remember, if I can support you in making our media more inclusive, feel free to reach out. I'm a screenwriter, podcast host, and an author, and I'm at theinclusivescreenwriter.com or the inclusive.